going to go check out this store. It has a bunch of like herbs and chocolates, and I don't really know. Oh, what? I found that one. I would get you. What is it? People, bunch of people. What the fuck? What the? What store are we in? What? <laughs> I just want to thank all of you guys for coming today. We are talking about metrophiliality. Metrophiliality is a feeling of which you love to take the metro bus. Now everybody say it with me. Ready? One, two, three. Metrophiliality. I just want to thank you guys all for coming. That's it for today's session. I'll see you guys all next week. <laughs> I just want to point something out real quick. I just parked on the wrong side of the road. Like I have never done this before. Holy crap, I parallel parked into that because my mom couldn't do it. Mom, how does it feel that I could parallel park that way and you so couldn't? Okay. I can't parallel on the opposite side. Wait, mom. Oh, shit, you can't even walk on the street. I have been parallel parking this whole trip, have I not, Jake? Every time, because I guess I'm the only one in the family that knows how to parallel park, and now I just did it on the opposite side of the street. This is a pat on the back. I know right side of the street. Then why have I been doing it this whole trip? So when we were in Annecy, we bought some fireworks. And we didn't even know you could buy fireworks out here. Anyways, we're gonna go blow some shit up. <laughs> Let's do it. So we bought these weird looking fireworks and I'm scared, I don't know what they do. Like, what if these bitches just go kaboom? So like, we're trying to find somewhere where we can blow these up, but like, we're literally in the middle of just like a busy intersection. So like, we can't really just shoot them anywhere. So we did not know what to expect with these. We literally just lit them up, shot it, and that bitch just flew into someone's apartment on their balcony. Oh, it, it hit and then fell down, and then there was a little kaboom. So we just started running. I have these four. I don't know what the. F I can't light them all at the same time. Why? I'm gonna tie these together. Hold on. Oh my god, you're crazy. Someone started coming out and chasing us. We still have fireworks left, but we're done. That was the scariest thing ever. And I lit four at once. I think only two blew up, but that was insane. Get arrested the last night in France. That's all we need. I know, right? Imagine we'd have to call an American Embassy, Jay. We're in our last final Airbnb, which is like a condo type slash house. I don't really know how to explain it. Anyways, we get here last night around 10 p.m. We go to park. There's very little parking spots, so we park in this area that the host told us to park in, right? We park there. We go upstairs. We sleep. The apartment is also not as nice as we thought. Like, it might look okay from here, but it's a lot dirtier. Walking around without shoes makes your feet black. It's kind of disgusting, and we did not expect this. From the pictures, it looked really nice. We were automatically like, what the heck when we got here. Next morning, they said, move your car by 8 a.m so that you won't have any problems with anyone. My mom wakes up at 7 a.m., goes out there to move her car, and she notices someone keyed her car all the way around. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the footage right now. All right, here is the car. Let's check out the damage. As you can see, there is a huge key mark all the way across the car. Again, on the other side, you can see the paint is still all the way. And then again in the front, right there. And this all sucks because it's like, we came out here for a good time, and now we have to spend all this money to get the car fixed. It's gonna cost thousands of dollars because you can't just buff out these scratches. This is deep scratches, so it's gonna cost a couple thousand dollars to fix this, which does suck. Jake, how do you feel about this? I'm scared, I just wanna get the hell out of here. <laughs> He's overreacting. Jessica, how are you feeling about this? I'm really scared. <laughs> This is not a joke, guys. This is serious. Mom, how do you feel? I'm not gonna let this affect our vacation. Come that's on. that's a good attitude. I like to hear that. All right, Mom, what does it feel like to have the best son in the world? It feels great. Jakey, you're such a wonderful son. I love you so much, Bella. Thank you, Mama. Learning French part two. Yasmin, can you teach me some French? Where is the closest bar? So like I can ah, ask people. Ah, ah, okay. Où est, Où est le bar? Le bar? Le plus proche. Le plus proche. Yes. Oublie la <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Americans in France. Oh, so nice. Here is it. It's a beautiful thing. Like a oh, look at the French people. Banjo. What the hell? What? It's bonjour. Yeah, like I said, banjo. <laughs> <laughs> like the French say, au revoir. No, I think it's au revoir. Like, have a good day. Au revoir. But please correct me if I'm wrong. Au revoir. 
What's up guys? So I just stopped off at a French gas station and I found this shake. It's an M&M &M shake. This is not a promo, nothing. I just thought I would try this on camera because it's a shake that's my favorite candy. So let's try this right now. I'm scared. That's disgusting, you want to try it? It ended in 2014. You're kidding. <laughs> that's just disgusting. <laughs> At first it tastes like chocolate milk, and it's like kind of good. Disgusting. disgusting. <laughs> so at first it feels like a, like a chocolatey sensation, and then just like peanut butter just hits your mouth, and it's like not like a good Whoa. peanut butter, it's because it's a drink, like ugh, just don't do it, trust me. All right guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash this thumbs up button. This is our last official day in France, mom. How are you feeling about this? We're in the airport right now, about to head back to LA. How are you feeling? It's kind of like a bittersweet. Right, know? like it's, it's kind of sad leaving yeah. France, but I'm kind of excited to get yes. back home. So this is super exciting. I want to give a quick shout out to Bonnie right here. Thank you so much for being active on my Instagram. You are super awesome. If you wanted to come pan the blog, all you have to do is be active on my Twitter, my Instagram, and my YouTube. Turn on post notifications. That was a mouthful. Mom, can you talk as fast as I do? No. Nope. I don't know how I, I do it. I say thanks to France for Yes, thank you, France. Jake, do you want to add anything at the end? Link in the Instagram, Jake X Taylor. And Lisa D. Taylor. <laughs> See you guys. Okay guys, so I haven't seen my son in literally 12 days, so we're about to go see him right now. Let's catch his reaction. This is gonna be cute. Come here, come here. Oh, baby. Oh. Mm, good boy, good boy, good boy. Oh, I miss you. I miss you.